the Dane is still looking very much for a chance to put that right hand across. been looking very very sharp and determined in training nine sparring partners on the floor in training well i rather felt before this fight that country might well have his hands full with bogs and this is certainly proving true the confidence beginning to come back into it now Two sharp punches again there, and Boggs very nearly went. The 29 years seem to be catching up with him already. When Conti really does get those punches going, they're quick, and they're altogether too quick for Boggs. Speed's gone from the man with the years, and he can't keep out of trouble. So from the early shock of seeing Conte on the floor, the fight now beginning to move back his way. What is really significant is that Conte is prepared to take him on and punch it up with him. crowd really appreciating this fight. John Boggs is picking up something like 12,000 pounds tonight from this fight. Never been seen as a professional in Britain but did in fact uh, box against Scotland as an amateur but again not in this country in Denmark. And he had two wins over Scotland way back in 1964 which was the same year that he appeared in the Olympic Championships in Tokyo. probably edged out a little bit in front on the last two rounds. Speed and strength and harder punch we thought would lie with Conte, but durability and experience of course with both. Denmark, although he's been winning, has not apparently been too impressive. Certainly a lot of pessimism in the Danish camp about his chances in this fight. They were looking for straws to cling to. One of them was the story that Conti perhaps couldn't make the weight 12-7 too easily. All the same, 500 Danish supporters have flown across to see this. punches there from Conte who's punishing him inside on most of it which is surprising and he's nearly gone again left hook that time and it's about all Boggs can do on those 29 year old legs to stand up under this signs of panic from the corner of Bog. He doesn't quite know where to go to be safe. Flick! 
Too good for him. So Conte now right back on top. Oh, that was a hard, hard round for Bob. And Conte strides back with all the pride and confidence absolutely oozing from him. You can see it written all over him. So from being shaky at the start, being on the floor, really shocked by the opening round, now the confidence flooding back into this 22-year-old triple jump. Well, it's just how well Fox has come through that rather torrid round. A minute's rest will have done him a bit of good. Already a third of this fight through. And it's contained action enough for two ordinary fights. champion determined to make his way in the world of boxing with uh, the dreams of a world title dangled in front of him and you've got the old stager the ex-champion bob fighting to stay at the top the perfect match trying to get it down, so it's coming up again. In the Danish corner, I think, calling to that man to keep his hands up. And also to try the right hand again. every sign here that Conte could stop his man. The durability of the Dane really being put to the test. He's cut. Boggs is cut. Left eye. And that's happened on that swelling I was telling you about. Now it's split open. So he's got all sorts of trouble now, this Dane. And this, in fact, is the left eye that's been troubling him in recent fights. He got it, he got it cut in his last fight. He won the fight, but he still got cut. And what trouble he's in now. End of the sixth. And so Bog cut and hammered and in real trouble, but not going down without a fight. Game and durable. But having trouble now, blood in his throat. And he's in all sorts of trouble. And the referee's been called to look at the cut. And I think the Danes are saying, it's enough. Looks very much like it. And it is in fact over. The referee signaling to the judges that the box corner have retired because of the eye injury, the left eye injury. Dr. Weitzman, the Board of Control has been called in to have another look at it. 
but they've already signaled they don't want to go on and in fact the doctor confirms it and so it's all over after six rounds Vox cannot continue the 29 year old ex-champion is out of the fight perhaps out of boxing for good it might be his last fight and Compli has retained the European light heavyweight champion but not without a struggle on the floor in the first round must have been a terrible shock for him but he fought his way out of it he got his confidence back and he not only cut box but he gave him a real hammering in the process and so Conte takes another step nearer a chance at the world title.